y'all i am so excited fall is officially here well almost here and in today's video i am going to give you simple easy budget friendly autumn decor ideas for your kitchen and living room and a few other additions at the end of the video so please stick around for the rest of this video i promise you you won't regret it okay let's get into it Okay guys, in this video, we are using mainly simple, affordable decor from places like Dollar Tree, Walmart, Dollar General, and we have two or three pieces, I believe, from Amazon. For the centerpiece, we'll be using a tray I got from Dollar Tree craft section, and we are using a tall and short candle. Place the tall one in the back and the short one in the front to make sure to have a diagonal angle. And for this vase with the flowers, make sure it's at the corner of your tray. Now for the pumpkin candle here, I put on a coaster underneath it to give it a little bit of a higher volume sitting. And to fill the tray, we are going to use pumpkins I got from Amazon and we're going to use pine cones. I was a bit more resourceful in this and got the pine cones from outside and we're just going to fill around the tray with this. And we're going to be using these fall string leaves I got from Dollar Tree. this piece right here this has to be one of the most simplest things you can do with autumn decor like it doesn't take a lot of effort or too much creativity take your favorite autumn scented candle here here i'm using an autumn pumpkin scented candle and set it at the center of the table you're going to take autumn leaves and spread them around the candle and you're going to put at least two to three pumpkins around the candle i recommend you do them each in different sizes Now this blanket right here, I got this from Goodwill and I just love this color. It is like this, what would you say, like a mint green color and I think it's just the perfect type of green that goes with autumn. I feel like when you have a really long blanket, I feel like it looks best when you put it in the center of the couch. Make sure the base of the blanket is spread out and the rest of the blanket that is laying against the back of the chair, make sure that it's pulled closer together. Now pillow arrangements, put the tallest pillow in the back and always put the shortest pillow in the front. Now I know I said before that it is pretty weird that we have a desk like literally in the middle of our living room but I decided you know what why not just give it a little office decor like give it a little something. I feel like the most simplest thing we can do for especially for the condenser I want to put like a basket because a lot of times we put like fruit or nuts on display for guests that come into our house. It is a perfect way to make guests feel welcome and a cute, cozy way to store your delicious snacks in the living okay, room. Okay, the basket, I love the idea. But to me, it just looks very plain. It, it looks like it's missing something. So I went about the core supplies and I found this. This is what I got last year. And if you see chew marks on it, the pets, they have it in it. That's why when you had the core, make sure your pets are not around because they will mess it up. So I am going to be using this and I'm going to wrap it around the basket. One piece did fall off though, so I'm going to attach it on. Right here would be a good spot. Yeah, I think it looks good. Right now I do have this sign right here just for my mom. I believe she got this at Dollar General as well. So I think this will look really good behind the basket. Okay, good. I, I was, I love that. It was great. I like how it says like "Hello Fall" right there. It just, I just have to say, I am just getting so excited. Like, do like when I was moving around, drinking my coffee and just decorating. I am just getting so thrilled. Like, I don't know about y'all. When y'all watch all these autumn videos, you have to feel the excitement for the new season. I recommend that you decorate in front of your TV. If your TV is like anything like mine and it sits on a stand, I recommend you decorate the front of these of the TV, especially to give it that sweet autumn feeling when you are watching your favorite movie or you just have a display on the TV with autumn leaves fall or a fireplace. 
I don't want y'all to see the finishy touches just yet, but real quick, I want to decorate the kitchen. I'm sorry for the mess, but we just went grocery shopping and we haven't had much time to put our stuff away. I don't know if it's just me, but y'all, to me, the kitchen is the hardest part to clean and to keep clean in your home. So what I like to do, I like to put on a good podcast, music, or just put on a good movie to make it more enjoyable and make the time go by faster. Today, I'm just watching a Hallmark movie, a movie that's literally about a pumpkin pie competition. These movies on Hallmark, y'all, y'all know they be cheesy, but it's literally the only time we watch Hallmark. Let's be real. table decor we're going to start off putting a tablecloth and this tablecloth you're going to see in the video i got from goodwill and it was only five dollars and i thought the burnt orange color would look perfect for my autumn table setting just added a tablecloth i feel adds a bit more warmth and texture creating a cozy fall atmosphere in your kitchen look at this oh my gosh it's even got like fall leaves on it you know what when i bought this thing i wasn't even paying attention to the pattern i literally just said oh my gosh the color was so good on my table and that's the only thing i thought about i didn't even notice that it had a leaf pattern it was nice i'm really looking excited to this i'm excited about spreading a tablecloth what in the world has this come to i wonder how far it gets like you think it will like get on the floor but i don't know I feel like this side needs to be pulled over a little bit more. I think about this table cover, it is a little bit wrinkly, but I think it'll be okay. I don't think I need to like iron it. We're not gonna take it that extreme, but I feel like it will be all right. It's okay, now for the best part, we're gonna put our table centerpiece. I am gonna be taking this basket as my centerpiece. I It does have floors on it because it's technically is like a spring basket, but if you turn it around, no one will notice or even care. So I just, oh my gosh, it still has a little Easter, you know, like the grass they use on Easter eggs. I still have it on here. But anyway, <laughs> but I'm going to use this as the center of my piece and I am going to be using these florals right here. I just feel like it was so nice, made like, like a different spring. I made it look like it was someone pick flowers and I kind of want to feel the same way with this. I'm not going to do like a big like table setting because I feel like you save that for Thanksgiving. So that's definitely going to be like a November thing. Now here's a key tip when doing floor arrangements, especially if you want to mix and match different flower colors. What I like to do, I like to spread one flower that is the base open and then I take another flower and just stick it inside. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like put it on a puzzle or like just a pair of pants. I don't know how to describe it, but as you can see in the video, you just try to slide one flower into the other.
now this piece right here like i said in my other video i got from five below not five below <laughs> i got for dollar tree for five dollars and honestly dollar tree's becoming the dollar and up store but i do love dollar tree the way the flowers just sit in this tray it just makes it feel like this is the perfect thing to put on your window seal i know you may be wondering like why do i have so many jars on the windowsill well my dad is in the process of trying to grow pineapples this four star a uh, pineapple garden it's like a little experiment we're doing however it won't be until next spring until we see some produce so stay tuned I just feel like there's something about it. It feels kind of empty. Like, I feel like I need to put something on the ends. The flower pot was too short for me and it looked very boring and plain. So I wanted to fill each end with pumpkins and mason jars. And I really wanted to put some fairy lights there. But unfortunately, I do not have any. Now here, I really wanted to add some string lights to my window curtain. And thankfully, the window curtain was apple. As we all know, apple is like imagery for fall. Now, despite my other string lights, these I got from Amazon the maple ones I got from Dollar Tree we are doing the final part which I think is the most overlooked part when it comes to fall decor which is the foyer just like the kitchen we are doubling the light strings to make it look more fuller I recommend you use command hooks to hold the lights now for this part of the decor, I got this idea from the floating pearl lights with candles that you usually see at events like weddings. Now I'm taking these glass vases and placing them at a diagonal angle. We will be using pumpkins, pine cones, and these fall leaves. We are going to be doing a pattern style of like, you know, stacking pumpkins and pine cones first, making sure they are spread evenly within these vases. What I like to do, I like to halfway fill the jars and then like I add my fall maple leaves to make sure there's like room for the leaves and just give it like more of an even look. Okay guys, that is it for the video. I really hope that you really liked this video, especially the ending. For me, the ending was the best part and the fun part to edit and do. I just love how every turn, everything turned out. And looking around my house, y'all, like, I am excited. Like, I just want this to be the best season ever. I am looking forward to the days and weeks of coming up. Guys, stay tuned for more videos. Trust me, they are gonna help you and inspire you and give you some great ideas how to make this auto season and hopefully the next auto season even better. Until next time, guys, happy fall, and I'll see you the next one.